An easy way to save time when it comes to importing your content is to use one of our bulk importing options and create multiple posts at once. In this video, we'll explore some of the options that you can use to bulk import content. Socialbee has three main tools that will help you with bulk importing. You can find them in the content menu on the left-hand side of your screen. These tools are Import CSV, Import Links, and Import Media. But there are also other tools and integrations that can help you automate your content and imports, like RSS feeds, Pocket, Zapier, and many more. So let's explore some of these options in more detail, starting with importing CSV files. This option is best used for when you want to migrate content from other tools you may be using, or if you prefer planning your content in a spreadsheet format. You can download a CSV file sample to see the format that you will need to use to make things happen. In the CSV file, you'll be able to add your caption in the text column. Then you'll be able to pair it with one of the following columns. Add a link if you want to generate a link preview, Add an image by adding a public URL of that image. Add a GIF the same way by adding a public URL of the GIF or a video by adding a public URL of the video file. You'll also be able to add a specific posting time to your posts if you want to do that, but this is optional. So leave it blank if you don't want to add a specific time. If you do, just follow the format that you see on the screen. Make sure to not edit the first row of the sample file as that is the head of your table and it's the one that is going to help Social B read your content correctly. Once your file is set, you can go ahead and upload it into Social B. Once you have created your CSV file, make sure you drag and drop it to import it. Next, select the profiles you want to include that content onto and the category you want to import your content into. Then you can work on any other settings that you might want in the advanced settings tab, like setting your content to expire, trimming the text for Twitter, or any other available option. You can import your content as approved by looking at the toggle in the bottom right corner of your screen, or you can toggle it as a draft if you still want to work on it before it goes out. When clicking on the import button, you'll see a message popping up at the top right corner of your screen, letting you know if the process has started or if something's not right. Then, if you have email notifications enabled, you'll get an email once the import is complete to let you know if everything was imported successfully or if we ran into any issues. If you don't have notifications enabled yet, you can enable them from your main menu at the top right corner of your screen by going to Edit Profile and scrolling down until you find Email me when the import is complete. Enable this and then you'll be able to see your emails. This is what the email will look like when your import is successful and this is what it will look like when your import ran into some issues. It's going to notify you where the issue is and why it happened. Once you fix the issue, you can rerun the import and make sure it's successful. Moving on, let's talk about importing links. This feature is crucial when you're curating content from multiple sources or when you have a lot of press appearances and need to share them to your socials. Basically, anytime you have a list of links that you'd like to create content around, you can use the import links feature. Once you have a list of all the links you want to import, you can paste them one by one into the text box. Make sure one link is only visible per line. Then, just like before, select the profiles you want to include your links to and the category you want to include your content into. Once you've selected your category, you can move ahead and append text if you wanted to. This could be a hashtag that you wanted to use or a source if you're sharing content from outside sources. When appending text, you'll see the text popping up at the end of every one of your imported posts. You can also use advanced settings if you want to, like setting your content to expire, adding an image, or shortening your text for Twitter. You can import your content as approved if it's ready to go out or as a draft if you still want to review it and edit it before it goes out. 
When you're ready, click the import button and a message will pop up at the top right corner of your screen letting you know if the process has started successfully or if we ran into any issues. If email notifications are enabled for your account, you'll get an email letting you know if the import ran successfully or if we ran into any issues. And if you don't have email notifications enabled, you can always enable them from your main menu when you go to edit your profile. Then scroll down until you find email me when the import is complete and make sure that toggle is enabled. You'll then be able to find your imported content into the category of your choice. You'll see the posts labeled with the import type that you've used. In my case, this is import links. So from here, you can move ahead and edit your content whenever you need to and then approve it so that it can go out. And finally, let's talk about importing media files. Whether it's photos, GIFs, or video, you can upload them in bigger batches into your Social B account by using the Import Media tool. This will allow you to upload up to 100 visuals at the same time into your category, as well as add captions for each directly into the importing screen if you need to do so. When importing visuals, you'll need to keep in mind that each platform has different aspect ratios and file size recommendations. You can check them all in our help documentation on this topic. This will be linked in the description of this video. To import your visuals, all you need to do is either drag and drop them into the add photos or videos space or select them directly from your computer. When you're importing visuals, you can see that you can add the caption for each one individually directly in the import screen, should you choose to do so. As with the other tools we've mentioned, you need to select profiles to make sure these posts have somewhere to go and the category you want to include them into. Here as well, you're able to append text if you want to do so, and the text will appear at the end of your caption. Here as well, you can choose to add advanced settings like expiring your post or shortening your text for Twitter if that is needed. Add your posts as approved if they're ready to go out or save them as a draft if you still need to edit them. Just like with the other tools, when you click the import button, you'll be able to see whether your process has started successfully or if something's not quite right. And when the import is complete, you'll get an email notification in your email letting you know if the import was successful or if we ran into any issues. And if you don't have email notifications enabled, you can always enable them from your main menu when you go to edit your profile. Then scroll down until you find email me when the import is complete and make sure that toggle is enabled. You'll then be able to find the content in your category. Since we're talking about importing and automating content, keep in mind that you can also use a variety of tools and integrations in Social B. Use our RSS feed import to grab content from your blog and automatically bring it into your Social B category. Use our integrations with Pocket or Q to bring in curated content. And if you want to use more advanced integrations like Zapier, Make, or Pabli, first you need to make sure you set them up accordingly by going to your dashboard and then navigating to the Social Accounts tab. Here, you'll be able to edit each individual profile and make sure you set up the correct account according to what you want to do. Use Zapier, Make, or Pabli to create an ecosystem between your content in Social B and other tools that you may be using. If you want to bulk edit your imported content, you can use the bulk editor on each one of your categories to do so. With this, you can select all of your posts and from the Actions button, you can add or remove social profiles, mark your posts as approved or as a draft, delete them or even move them into a different other category. If you have questions on importing content or any other Social Bee feature for that matter, feel free to reach out at success at socialbee.com.